starring June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and of course, Lassie. That's all right, Timmy. I'll finish the ice cream, and you can put the sign out now, if you like. Okay. Thanks, Lassie. Hi, Timmy. Hi, Boomer. Aren't you going to play ball? You know I can't. Robin's coming. Oh, I forgot. That English kid. What's she doing? Fixing a bed for Robin's dog. What kind of a dog? Dad said they had a whole kennel of Great Danes. Great Danes? They're big. They sure are. Lassie, put it back where it belongs. Please. Think Robin will try out for the team? Dad said English people play cricket instead of baseball. Cricket? What kind of game's that? I don't know. Think they hide in bushes and chirp at each other? That's what crickets do. Dad stayed with his folks when he was stationed in England. So he's coming here for a visit. How would you like to lick the beater? I'll say. OK. Oh, here they are. You can finish it, Boomer. Come on. I'll get his other things and take them on out. Come on, Robin. Meet the rest of the family. Oh, hello, Robin. Howdy, Mrs. Martin. Well, we're awfully glad you're going to be with us. That's mighty white of you, Mom. Timmy, meet Robin. Hi, Robin. What's cooking, old chap? We're going to be the best of pals, and I'm not just whistling Dixie. Um, oh, uh, Boomer, why, why don't you introduce Boomer? Come on. Boomer, I mean Ralph. This is Robin. Hi. Put her there, Boomer. Lassie wants to be friends, too. My word, she's a beauty. Hasn't anyone let that poor dog out of its crate yet? Excuse me, girl. in a minute. Relax, old boy. Relax. making you welcome. I'll bet Robin would like to see his room, Timmy. Come on, Robin. Hands across the sea. Do you mind saying grace tonight, Robin? I think it'd be nice if you did. We thank thee, Father, for this day. Help us tomorrow to do thy will. 
Breathe thy blessings on every heart in this household, and for what we are about to receive, our deepest thanks. Thank you, Robin. which is most delicious. Or if it's a combined taste that make dinner so wonderful. Just wait till she whips up her Virginia baked ham with candied yams. Oh, if they're half as good as this. Are you ready for seconds, Uncle Petrie? Uh. I'm afraid I'll have to leave seconds to the younger generation. <laughs> Would you mind not smoking just yet, Uncle Petrie? This one's for Mrs. Martin. Mom wanted you to have this. Oh, thank you very much. This one's for Mr. Martin. Thank you, Robin. Here's Uncle Petrie's. Well, now, thank you, boy. And Timmy. Thanks. Well, what do you know? Uh, reckon there's nothing to stop me from smoking now. Say, these are just great. Best pipe I ever owned. My goodness, what beautiful embroidery. And I'll bet Granny did them. Indeed she did. Oh, why, it's lovely. We must all write thank you notes right away. Look what I got. I'm looking. Those are my school colors, Timmy. We're very proud of our colors at home. I'm proud of them too, Robin. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Thank you. For Timmy? No, he's walking up ahead. Hey, what is that? A girl? Well, not exactly. Come on, let's dive bomb him. Sure. <laughs> it's Boomer. We always go to school together. You and Lassie actually speak to each other, don't you? Which came first, cricket or baseball? Oh, we were playing cricket before America was a colony. Do you think I could learn it? I'd be happy to teach you. your brooders. And Lassie wouldn't permit Basil to frighten them. Oh? I thought you'd be with the other boys, having fun. We're having enough fun alone. Tomorrow I'm going to teach Timmy how to play cricket. Oh, well, well, would you like some fresh milk and chocolate cookies? I was rather wishing for tea. I'm not old enough for tea. Neither am I, but at home this is tea time. Well, here we call it snack time. I like that expression, snack time. <laughs> I like tea time better. It makes me feel grown up. Oh, come on. We'll wash up first, Mom. Well, shall I pour some milk for Boomer? No, I don't think so. Will you please be quiet? Are there any more questions? The chap in the third row. Why do you wear those skinny little short pants? <laughs> Perhaps to remind us that we are still children. Perhaps because exposure to the elements hardens one. Or perhaps we respect our fathers, who also wore skinny little short pants. Before recess starts, I think we ought to thank Robin for his most interesting talk. Thank you, Robin. Ralph, will you and Bud come to the desk? 
The rest of the class may be excused. Timmy, I'll give you a piece of my candy if you'll introduce me. Licorice? Okay. I don't know what brought on this outburst of rudeness. Has Robin done something I should know about? Well, the three of us will talk it all out after school today. And tomorrow, too, if your manners do not improve immediately. All right. God bless Mom, Dad, and Uncle Petrie. And Lassie, and God bless everybody. Amen. Excuse me for forgetting. And God bless Robin, too. And get Puma and Bud to like him. Because Robin's my friend, too. You sleep? No, Dad. How, uh, how'd you get on with Robin today? Well, um, we got along fine. Man to man. Do you think he'd rather go out with Uncle Petrie and me tomorrow or go to school with you? I know I'd like to be with you. And Robin? I'm kind of mixed up. Well, that happens to most of us one time or another. Well, Boomer and Robin are both swell kids. Of course they are. But they're different in a way. The kids were uh, making fun of Robin today, is that it? You're not mixed up, Timmy. Well, someone is. Once Boomer and the others understand Robin, they'll learn something you found out by yourself. I hope so. What did I find out, Dad? Oh, that it's not wrong or bad to be different. If you meet somebody halfway, you get to know each other, you can learn a lot from each other. Oh. Good night, son. Good night, Dad. Mixed up a little. Push down the pedal and lock it right there. There you are. Bet you'll be running this thing for noon. Oh, that would be smashing. You smash it and I'll tan your hide. He means that would be swell. Oh? Then why didn't he say so? He did, in English. See you after school. Right, Al. Don't forget the cricket stuff. Hi, Sean. Here, Basil. Hi, Boomer. Are you sore? Well, I had to stay after school. It's not my fault. Our Robin's. If you take his side, you're his friend, not mine. Can't a fella have two friends? You playing ball this afternoon? Maybe after my cricket lesson. Now you tell me what the bowler does. He tries to knock the sticks off the wicket. And the batsman must protect the wicket by hitting your bowl. If he succeeds, he has to reach the other wicket safely. Just like baseball. Except that I must get there before the fielder can knock the sticks off the wicket. Pretty complicated. No, it isn't. Just have a go at it. You'll see. Well played, old chap. Throw it in, bud. Give me the ball. Try and get it. Shamefully. Kindly give me that ball. Sure. Ought to put your energies to better use, chum. Don't chum me. Come on, Robin. Let's go back to the house. We came here to play cricket. I won't let these bullies spoil our fun. Oh, you think you can stop us? It's about time somebody tried. Well, go ahead. Try. If you want it that way. Yeah, I want it that way.
Feeding them for me? Sure, Ruth. Now get out of here. Go on back there. Go on. Get. Get. Go on. Basil? Come here, Basil. Come on. There you are now. Come on. You're a fine little doggy. <laughs> Don't you let anybody tell you you're not. What's he good for anyway? I was getting underfoot and scaring the brooders. Don't pay any attention to Uncle Petrie. His bark is worse than his bite. Just how you feel. Robin. Wouldn't you like to talk about it? I've made Timmy lose all his friends. Well, now, that's quite a trick. How did you manage it? By being myself, I guess. They don't like me, and they don't like Timmy because he does. Well, never having been a boy, I... I'm afraid this whole thing confuses me a little bit. Even Basil can't get off on the proper foot. We've caused so much trouble. I think we'd do best to fly on to Toronto. Oh, well, now, none of us here would like that at all. I won't get any pleasure out of it either. Well, if you did leave, don't you think that would be a little bit like running away? They know I'm not a coward. Boomer? I think it was Bud. Must have been a real Donnybrook. Oh, it was all right. A real Donnybrook. Well, I think you'll feel better after you've had a bath. I don't know. In any case, I think you owe it to Timmy to talk the whole thing out before you do anything drastic. First of all, though, you have a bath and a rest. Your peaches, Mrs. Martin. Gone to the airport. Gee, just when the fellows got to like him, they even wanted to learn how to play cricket. And he thought he was being a nuisance. We ought to go after him. Now, come on. Well, if he cut across the fields, he'd pass pretty close to here. Oh dear, if anything's happened to him. Come on, Timmy. We'll take Lassie and scout around. You shouldn't. 
I didn't leave because of you, Timmy. It was because of what I was doing to you. Making you lose all your pals. I've got something to tell you. Now, I think you'll like it. Come on home, Robin. Well bold, Timmy. You're not just a whistling Dixie, chum. Now, why can't they do this between innings and baseball? I don't know, but I sure wish they would.